What's up guys? What's up? I'm Chris. I'm Sean. And this is the Whiskey News. I will say this. This is a gorgeous bottle. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you caught it. Oh, you haven't drank much of it. This is a beauty. Is this your second bottle or is it still the first one? It's the first one. <gasps> so this is a beauty. Okay. And so the first time I had this, to be honest with you, wasn't really, wasn't really impressed. It's not that I didn't like it. It was okay. Okay. Uh, but compared Back to, up. I thought Ryder Stewart was better. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I really enjoyed Ryder Steers more. Mm -hmm. um, but the other night I had this after it had been opened up and been breathing for probably about three months. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had this the other night and it was a vanilla bomb. Oh man, I You're mean, planting it, things in my oh, head. Oh, it was a vanilla. Well, you already told you oh, that. Oh, you did tell me that. That's right. So it was a vanilla bomb and I was like, man, this stuff is smooth. It's just, it was a good whiskey. Cool. That's definitely an Irish. Very light and fruity. Definitely fruit on the nose. Yeah. Almost like an apple cobbler. I was gonna say like a peach brandy. Oh, you're getting peach? Yeah. I'm getting a little I'm getting a little uh, like gala apple, to be specific. I'm getting some gala apple. It's it's got a nice nose on it. It does. It's a very friendly nose. I I enjoy that a lot. A lot. Oh, there's that vanilla. Dude, it's a vanilla bomb. Vanilla and just a light pear apple. Just a light crisp fruit. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's been with vanilla. You know, here's here's what I'm missing. And and I would love to do that if you want. Let, I think we could even branch into pouring a, just a splash of scotch of one of those into a glass. Because the scotch has a peaty to it even if it, even if it's really fresh like if we did a, just a splash of the glenfiddich or the i don't get any funk in this no I at all funk. that's what i'm saying but I, mm. I bet if we did a glass of the scotch yeah well we can do that yeah what do you want to do glen orangey or glen I, glen orangey might be the better comparison yeah i think it would be yeah, it's a highland um it is very pear from what I remember. It's very light. It's got some cinnamon on it, though. It does. It's Glenn Morgan. Yeah. from what I remember. It was, uh... Okay, so if you look at the colors on that, look at the color boards. The green spot looks a little darker. It does. Yeah. Yeah. The green spot has a little more of that whiskey oak to it. Definitely more funk on mm -hmm. the scotch. For, For sure. sure. Yeah. And that's, that's that peated malt. And that's why I wanted to kind of put it next to each other because you can really see the difference with the Irish and the Scotch on that. Now, not a huge, not a huge difference. I know as you're smelling it more, it's starting to blend together, and this is oh, funky still straight out of the funk bottle. Out of this I am, I am, but as it as it more breathes sweet, more, more funk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I anyway. thought these were much more. I thought these were sim more similar on the nose than I. That I'm having exactly, now. yeah, and that's why I'm going to put them side by side because I remember them being very similar too. But I thought, you know, there's got to be that differentiation between the Scotch and the Irish. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try the Irish again for yeah. Mm. That's good. That is. It's delicious whiskey. That is delicious. Yeah, it's apples yeah. and vanilla. And an eighty proof thing. You know. Yeah. You drink quite a bit of it. <laughs> that you can. You're doing the scotch. I'm doing the scotch. So I've, I've cleansed my palate with the water. I've, I've, I've smelled the coffee. Definitely funky. It's a good funk. Though. And how do how do we say we remember this? Remember this is uh, a light fruit, cinnamon, um, pear, pear, sweet. Pear. Yeah, pear. Yeah, light okay. fruit, sweet, pear. Yeah. Uh, easy sipper. Yeah. Fruit um, cocktail syrup on the nose. It's a, it's a great whiskey to drink when you're making dinner or mm -hmm. watching TV or just hanging out. Sitting outside in the summer in the heat. Oh yeah, it's a good, it'll be a good summer whiskey. Mm. Wow, that was so, it was so creamy and smooth on the front. Oh, that's, wow. Oh man. I prefer this. Do you? I prefer the scotch. Yeah. It was easy. That was oh, like, well, no, I got a tingle from it that I didn't yeah. get from the Irish. It was the cinnamon. Yeah. The the cinnamon in this, in, the, in this is just really, oh man, it's so nice. It gives you a nice tingle. I agree. Here's um, some of the tasting notes. Uh, original balances of honeyed sweetness with notes of citrus. I agree with both of those. Almonds and creamy vanilla. Ooh, maybe I do get some almonds from this. Creamy vanilla. Oh, for now that you said almond complexity. I'm, I'm 
an enticing I smoothness. I don't get sick. And year after year, experts have honored our whiskey with a host of prestigious awards. You know, this was supposed to be a green spot review, but man, that Glen G is good. It is good, and and I I like the green spot as well. I just oh, I like it's good. The, I it's like really good. Put the two side by side because I think in comparison, being a Irish and a Scottish, they're very similar. They are. If you peated that, it would probably be a completely different whiskey. But you know, it, it, it's their flavor profiles are very similar. Mm. I, this is the green spot's very sweet. <laughs> if you want a sweet dessert whiskey. This would be a good sweet dessert whiskey. This whiskey, I think, would be really both of these actually would be really good with like some sugar cookies. Oh man, that that would be a good pairing, like these and sugar cookies, or even dude, this would be really good with like a charcuterie board, like some cheeses and stuff. Yeah. You know, because you're adding that sweet. You know, think about it, you add some jams and some uh, preserves sometimes. Mm. This would, you know, I think if you get something like sweet, like a dessert, and pair it with this. Which one are you on now? Glenmorangie or are you on? The, I'm on the green spot. Green spot. I cleansed and went to the green spot. But anyway, I I think when you do a dessert whiskey, it has to be a dessert on its own. Because if you add, I think we added some sweet to it, it would, we get some different flavor profiles, just in my opinion. Remember when we did the chocolate with all the different whiskeys? I think the cinnamon is just making it stand out more. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. So this is taking a completely different turn. Which yeah, really it's supposed like. to be a green spot video. But I like. What Here's we're doing. the thing, though. Green spot is a great Irish whiskey for sixty five dollars. It's it's a mm -hmm. it's a great break. I like these because they're breaks from bourbon. Yeah. They're breaks from rye. Yeah. So you get on like our American whiskey kick. An American whiskey is very bold. Maybe one one to three really heavy flavor notes. With some trailing Maybe notes some too. other trailing notes in there, but like maybe three really heavy tr notes, right? Mm -hmm. um, we prefer the proofier stuff, so that's kind of where we've been hanging out here lately. But then we have a pour of Irish, or we have a pour of Scotch. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice break. It is. It yeah. takes you in another direction. It lets you think about things in a different mm -hmm. way. I, I enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, but either one of these are great bottles. I think the Glen Morangy is actually a cheaper bottle. I think that uh, you can get a Glen Morangy for around the fifty dollar mark. I could be wrong on that. I was thinking it was seventy. No, no, the Balvini is the most expensive. The Balvini is a seventy. That's right. The Balvini okay. is right. seventy. You're right. The Glen Fittick is sixty. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think this might be the this might be in the forty five to fifty dollar territory. Yeah. The um, Green Spot sixty five. But uh, price aside. Both of these are good whiskeys. I think the Green Spot's a sweeter profile. This is sweet and fruity. This is some, more complex. The cinnamon is yep. just what kicks this one over complexity. the top. It's got some spice and complexity to it. That, yeah, and it's lighter. It's just a lighter overall whiskey. Mm. I I prefer the Glen mm -hmm. No funk in the Green Spot. None. For no, but the most Irish is I get a little bit of funk, but the funk is in the Scotch. Oh man, that is good. Like Glen Morangy tenure, yeah. It's a good break. I'm not gonna give up bourbon for Scotch. No, I'm not there. I'm not to the point to where I like I would no. prefer Scotch over bourbon. No, but this is a really nice break. It's a really good background whiskey that you can sip on when you're doing something else. You don't necessarily want to think so much about the whiskey. You and I could sit out by your fire and kill this bottle. No problem. Done. It'd be done. With no it. problem, especially yeah. at at, at uh, 86 proof. <laughs> yes. I mean, it would be done. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, no, but do this but well. individually. Both good whiskeys. Yeah. I'd recommend both of them. Uh, if you're getting into Irish, Green Spot's a great choice. Getting into Scotch, Glen Morangy is Two a great choice. Great introductions to do different genres. Yes. And, and great breaks from your bourbon or rye. Yeah, I agree. Uh, if you need something to kind of break things up, these would be two good ones I would recommend. Mm -hmm. I think these are both very approachable for anybody. These would be great entry level whiskeys. Shoot, your brother might like these. I think so. Yeah. I think especially the Glen Morangy. Yeah. yeah. I think we should like. Really yeah. bad. Maybe he's a Scotch guy. Uh, we've we've hinted at that a few yeah, times that maybe we that, think that's the possibility. Yeah, that might be the thing. Well, uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Hey, hey, comment if there's any Irishes or Scotches you think we should try. Mm -hmm. We're on this journey. We're trying to ease ourselves into especially Scotches. So hey, what's an approachable Scotch that we should try out? Yeah, we'd love to hear. What is your that. your approachable Scotch? Yeah. What's your go-to? That'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, do us a favor. Go ahead and ring. The notification bell to stay up to date on any new videos we have coming out. Yeah. We try to release content every week. So far, we've been pretty true to that. So we have. Yep, content coming out constantly. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, you can find us at the Whiskey Noobs on Instagram. Uh, you can find that link 
in the description for this video. If you're seeing a clip of this video on Instagram, you can follow us on YouTube, YouTube. at The Whiskey Noobs. And you can find that link in our bio on Instagram. Yep. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah. Cheers till next time. Cheers. <laughs> Head on straight. Mask on crooked. Exit stage left with the mask on took it. That was hip hop stage of the night. Little danger dude. Right ready for you. You keep moving that forward, it's out of frame. Do, 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 do. Right here, that's in frame. Perfect. Do, do, do. Right there. Do, 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 do. Oh. Uh, so you, have this, you have this hair right here that I just want to like pull. <laughs> it's like all your other beer hairs are short and this one's just like... Oh, I missed it. It's sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else was missed. Oh, I, oh, I notice when I'm, I know. When I'm listening <laughs> to the recording, I'm like... <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, and I have to cut it out. Anyway, yeah. Right. I'm not getting as much of the, uh, I'm getting, I'm oh, not getting man, as much of the it's, it's late where we're at. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>